and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Spider Aggro. We're going old school with this donation deck. Old school Spider Aggro, um, you know, like basically where you start with this game. You know, like one of the best beginner decks, at least, was a couple of months ago. Um, we've had a lot, a lot of these cards have been nerfed <laughs> before, nothing's really been buffed. Um, but we're going three Draven, three Elise for our champions. Our top end, we got a couple of crowd favorites, three visions. Now the visions, uh, you can cast them, but also when they're discarded and how we discard them is with the spinning axis. So that's a, a great combo with the Draven. If we can go wide, we're gonna want to go wide because um, crowd favorite also wants us going wide. Um, Arachnid host wants us to go wide and brood awakening. Uh, helps us go wide. So we got those. We got a couple of decisive maneuvers. It's a card I haven't really liked in the past, but these days I am appreciating it more as a way to stop a Basilisk Scrider or more importantly, a Darius from attacking for a turn. So that's not too bad. And of course we get to use this offensively too with the plus two plus zero um, for the team. We can use that as an offensive tool. All right, so yeah, our, our house buyers will help us go wide. Let's let's try some old school spider aggro. We'll see how we do. Yeah, I said it's still a fun deck, but all the nerfs have hurt it a lot. Yeah, they really did hurt this deck quite a bit. Um, while <clears throat> everything else kind of around it was getting new tools, getting more powerful. Um, you know, I don't think we have a single rising tides card in here, right? So like we don't don't didn't get anything from the second set and then there's also been a bunch of nerfs so we see we'll see how we can do okay so good start mulliganing all of those just, we got a whole bunch of our expensive spells which is not where we want to start Our best draws are the champions. Right now, Elise Draven. Elise will fit fit our curve. Return two. Uh, Draven would help out also with like the vision and stuff. Yeah, Shadow Isles control. Not really what we want to face. You know, Withering Whales. Probably the worst card that we can face is Withering Whale. And then they got that and a Nivea. Um, this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Braum doesn't seem fun to try to get around. Elise? No. That egg. Did it move? Yeah, we're trying to go wide with our spiders. <clears throat> and so these anti-go wide cards that they have, this is as bad as yeah, like this is this is our bad matchup. But we're gonna try to win. And try our best. Not a good turn. Don't get to do anything this turn. What will you have? Let's take this outside. Oh, I should I should be blocking. I should be blocking. That should be a block. I know. Rest in peace, five mana, Brood Awakening. But that's also maybe my fault, like for even just playing the Hapless Aristocrat on turn two with some more Foresight. I must get out of here. Yeah, I, I should have blocked. That was a big mistake. And this kind of matchup, how we're, we, we can't afford mistakes. Um. Yeah, like, I, I can't afford mistakes. Oh. 
If I would have blocked, we would have been able to do an additional three points of damage. We would have had both of our two ones be able to get in there. What will you have? A man of your warmest milk, my friend. How about another round? I'm really surprised they attacked with that Omen Hawk. These old eyes still seem mm -hmm. far from here. And everything were just like a mana off, like you know, maybe we could have a decisive maneuver to go along with this, or just a mana off. My talons are frost, my wings the bitter winds. And Brom is your wingman. I wanted to save as many as these of these as I could for the next turn. Oh my gosh, they just passed? Yeah, no champions. Um, not a good matchup. Not a good hand for that matchup. Vision is our worst possible card in that matchup. Um, and you know we had a whole bunch of those, and it just wasn't wasn't close. We had drew every single vision, our worst possible card. Drew zero champions. Yeah, I mean that just. <laughs> If if you're gonna have if you're gonna draw as bad as you can and your opponent draws very good, it's good to have good to have that happen in your worst matchup anyway. That's most likely gonna be a loss. So now hopefully we draw better, you know, and then you know we can get some other wins. It's good to just get that one out of the way. Um anyways, right? So like that's fine. A loss is a loss, it doesn't matter if you lose by an inch or a mile. I think that was a quote. My shield is yours. Misfortune Lucian. We aren't good at drawing our champions. So this block's here, they take five. I can sacrifice Hapless Aristocrat to do one damage to the Hired Gun, which doesn't really make any sense whenever the Hired Gun can just challenge this 3-2 anyway. The only reason why, the only way that makes sense is that we do, do turn that into a Spider for these things, but I can't play either of those this next turn anyway. Okay, good. So now I can block here. Oh right, they do that challenge. That's worse for me. But now we can block and turn and get a spider. Um, 
Which one of these are we doing? Brood Awakening or Arachnoid Ho Host? If we go Host, we can cast Vision. If we go Brood Awakening, we go Whiter. Yeah, we have we have two glimpse beyonds in this deck. I think I go wider. Stand down. Stay back. It looks like our deck is nothing but Brood Awakenings and Visions <laughs> for how we've drawn for the the two games. Ooh, they've taken, taken a little bit of damage. Virtue guides me. And we're dead. Gotta hope that they do, that they do something pre-combat. Okay. Beauty in the play. Uh, at least done this. So I should probably cast probably cast vision. Hope they challenge the three powers. Nope, not that lucky. Because um, if I don't cast Vision, we're wasting all that mana. Let's see, next turn we're going to have seven. If I cast Vision, we have nine, which I can't do these two things anyway. If I don't cast Vision, I could go uh, Brood Awakening and then Arachnoid, Arachnoid Host. Man, this Brood Awakening being six has just been so awkward this whole time. We've just had like five the whole time. Ooh. Okay, now now what are we doing? So we're going to stun that. And that gives me seven mana to work with. So it looks like we're going Brood Awakening then. No prey, no pay. Which I guess it would have made more sense to play the sentry first. I just kind of didn't want them to know about the sentry. No. Ugh. Guardian. That's pretty rough. Alright, come on. Draw some champions. We want Elise and Draven. Where's our champions at? Definitely need our champions. Especially Elise. No, not Brahmanivia. Right, Elise, Draven. Yay. That egg, did it move? Yeah, we've not been getting be good champion luck. Bind them. Bind 
Nothing escapes my watch. Look out for Reavers. Light the signal fires. They have, you know, one one drop, one two drop, and they just get they get three of those six cards. Just so good. Sure, and then you get your four mana champion. Why not? So I was worried about passing priority that they just wouldn't challenge anything and just pass back to me. And so even though they could have killed that spider, doing this we get to transform Elise. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Okay. Well, going for the win. They can't just have Grasp the Undying also, right? They've had everything else. They can't just have that card. No Grasp, no Withering Will, please. I have to do that. I have to do it like this because if, if I do it, if I do it out of combat, it's like where we can get another three damage in. But it's just too. If we do it out of combat and then they just kill my Elise, then then I look pretty silly. Um, doing it in combat, they did, still don't get to block these things. How do they just have Grass the Undying also? How do they have it all? It's like Omenhawk, Sentry, Sentry, Braum, Grass the Undying. Why? What were you sure, just have that too. Why not? Milk, my Why not? I'm trying to win a game. We're trying. It's not going to be easy. Probably should have blocked at the threes, shouldn't I? Maybe I should have blocked at the threes. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Raven. I was thinking like clearing clearing the space out and getting getting two more attackers. But yeah, I should have blocked at the threes because I would have got rid of those blockers. Yeah. Thanks, Billy. Man. And we actually had a good hand, and I was thinking that maybe we could win. But no, theirs was absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's that's still my bad on, on this. I How am I making mistakes? I can't make mistakes.
the torches. Let's talk about your tab. Yep, they have the best card. Seven turns in a row of them having the absolute best thing they possibly could. That's frustrating. That's quite frustrating. So crowd favorite and vision are both Definitely getting uh, mulliganed. I think Glimpse Beyond too. I don't think we keep Glimpse Beyond. Um, Sentry is usually pretty good, but it is a three mana card. I could mulligan it and, and just kind of dig farther and just really look for Elise and Darius. Draven. Sorry, my bad. Elise and Draven. No, I didn't I didn't color my hair. I did get a haircut today. <laughs> oh. Waiting on me. I am so sorry. I am so sorry about it. Okay. So we kind of noticed a problem with our deck. Vision has not really looked like a playable card. Like, maybe you could have one vision to maybe get somebody with, like, a Draven discard. But we just keep on having all these visions, and, the, and all they do, like, our stuff, like, things just trade, and vision doesn't, vision never trades. Does that make sense? Like, we're not, we're not getting a full card worth of value out of this, ever. At least we haven't in four matches. Technically three matches. This one's not over. Like, maybe we can here? Maybe? If we're lucky? Lucky. Um, yeah, I guess I wanted to have use out of the sentry of stunning something, which is why I didn't play it before. Y'all are nice in chat. I'm, I'm glad. Like, I know I, I am frustrated and, and everything, and um, y'all are, are being nice to me. Thank you for the kind words. We would have both arachnoid sentries. Watch and learn. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like super old school spiders. Oh, I can't wait. 
He's gonna be getting any wins today. Does not appear that way, at least. A true Felyorian welcome. Not as of now. I just had an awesome match against that egg deck. Uh, I guess that's probably Anivia. And the person emote me crying Poro and played Ruination, but I was playing around at a few cards in hand and killed them the same turn they played Ruination. And how sweet it was. That is awesome. Good job, Big Alfredo. Good job. Love any play. Come closer. Okay. I don't bite. I got two stuns. Kind of feels like we have no win cons in the deck. I mean, well, I mean, we we do. It's just our opponents have been playing very good. Our opponents have been playing very good and just stomped out every every aggressive thing that we have, and we we have not gotten ahead. And this this deck doesn't play from behind. It only plays from ahead when you're playing cards like Vision and Decisive Maneuver and things like this. Like we don't we don't play from behind at all. And my opponents have kept us from getting ahead. Yeah, heroin could be interesting in this kind of deck, especially if you're playing a arachnoid host. Arachnoid. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Arachnoid? Arachnoid? Arachnoid host. That's a pretty spicy one to have a, a bunch of these come back with harrowings. It's just the the health is so bad we can't we can't profitably trade with anything. We we just trade even or trade down across the board. And then we're left with nothing. Can't make any blocks, can't make you know, like we just we kinda have have nothing. That is true that the the hosts will be spawned first, so they don't get uh, don't get the bonuses. That's a good that's a good call. So it'll, it'll be summoned first, so it won't it won't buff up the other things that are harrowing. That's that's a good call. That is how that would work. You know, three of these four matches, even we were just playing against, um, you know, Braum control decks and. This card is amazing against our deck now with having one health, um, making mighty poros that are three threes that block fearsome. This card's amazing against us, and we've played against it three out of four times, and uh, it's been rough. We're gonna get a, a nice little attack in here. We're not gonna do 20 damage, unfortunately. Toronto! 
or 10-3 getting blocked by the 3-1 is just gross. I'll protect the villages. Let's so gross. The Noxion Fervor, you know, like, we we honestly had a chance with this game, but the Noxion Fervor killing the Draven was was where the game completely turned. Like, with, without that play, if, if that turned, if it didn't have removal for Draven, and Draven would have just killed the Braum um, and been... Or no, no, no. So it was it was the spider that was going to kill the Braum that you had the Noxion Fervor for. Yeah, that was that was the turn that the, the game uh, completely changed. Or that was our chance. What about a rekindler? Their time has come. Probably too slow. Basically, the deck needs to be more aggressive and have spells that are removal or deal damage to the opponent and not these these things not decisive maneuver vision those have not been good we need uh, like noxion fervor you know, even death hand how they play like we need we need to be able to deal damage to the opponent and also get ahead more Fortunately, the stuff that Noxus has, there's a lot of good stuff with Noxus, and it's just miles better than Spiders. Unfortunately, Spiders is just, it's super weak whenever you compare it to, um, I can't block this Wayne, this Wayne kills all my stuff. Whenever you, well, I guess, maybe I could, but. Whenever you compare it to Crimson Disciple, Legion Grenadier, Imperial Demolitionist, um, that stuff is miles better than than spiders it's just these things are are they like they're really too weak to compete as, as we've seen we're gonna try to get in try to get a win we're gonna try our best absolutely q you can always post a link of your deck list and ask questions for chat everything like that Okay, this could be a matchup where we can this could be a matchup where we could win they're also you know small aggro you know we have we have a chance here now we have triple three drop well these are these are good cards but i just don't want triple three drop i really want a one drop this is tough though the skitters are quite good i'm actually gonna keep this we're gonna have Okay, we don't get the one drop, but the skitters are quite good. Yeah, ah, would have loved to have that. My opponent's deck, it's okay, we can play that on turn four. My opponent's deck, yeah, they don't really have removal and they don't block very well either. And so maybe, um, maybe that combination can help us out. I'm surprised they traded that thing off instead of trading the one two off with that that two one. You know, feel like that two one's more valuable. I'd rather have a two one than a one two. Do not fear the shrouded path. Uh Zed. Hmm. I am 
what is ours. Let's go, spiders. And this is why I kept all the, the frenzied skitters. They're just pretty good. That's a great card for them to have because that takes out two of my best attackers. That was a great card. I mean, that just takes out my, my two best attackers. Yeah, if only Skitterer was still a 3-3. Three, three. This deck could definitely use 3-3 three, three Skitterer. That's, that was that was the nail in the coffin for Spider decks, not having 3-3 three, three Skitterer. That was like the one card that could, um, you know, that could kill smaller things and stay alive. That was the one card that could before, but once, once Skitterer was two health, uh, then it just made it kind of made it really difficult to play this deck. They follow the wrong master. Please, I have connections. I could see Draven doing some good work for me. It's Draven time. Now this this is when drawing vision would be awesome. Not right away like we've had it right away a lot of other times. This is where draw, drawing vision would be awesome. I could see them having lifesteal barrier, and uh, that's going to be really good for basically all of our cards. I think we got this one. That's fine. That's fine. Put them down to five. Okay. Stun. Pump up some other stuff. Go down to negative one. Yes. Good hand. Good job, Skitter. Good job, Skitter. We got it. On the board. On the board. That's our kind of matchup. Other small unit deck that doesn't have what you know wide removal or block particularly well that's what we want to play against ggs yeah basically the these cards just aren't strong enough against a lot of things you know like the your withering whales and brahms those cards are really hard to beat or just too too small um but sometimes it'll work. Sometimes you're able to go wide and, you know, you can use these things. Um, but overall, overall, Noxus Shadow Isles has a much stronger deck that hits much harder and is much more difficult to deal with. Okay, got the one. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you've been playing spider aggro at all, feel free to let me know in the comments. Let me know what, you, what you've been doing to uh, have some fun with some spiders. Um, yeah, you know, if you're, if you're playing those spiders, uh, 
lend us lend us a hand and give us your expertise of what what's been going right with you for the spiders all right but that's it here for old school spider aggro thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video